good, YouTube? Backyard Barbecue is a barbecuettes. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. And another awesome session, right? So today is Floyd Mayweather versus McGregor. And we still practicing, y'all. Just got good news that we accepted into the tournament. So September 8th and 9th, like I said, I'll put the link in the description. Um, check it out. Feel free to read. I don't know who's in the professional uh, division. We're in the backyard division. Uh, ironically, backyard barbecue and backyard. Um, hopefully, we win. So top three, what I found out is the top three positions are automatically entered into the professional. So if we, at least um, if you heard a grand champion, and uh, that's the number one winner in the backyard. If, like I said, we're the top three. We'll advance and we'll, uh, I ain't going to say advance, but we'll be eligible to do the uh, uh, professional events from then on. So we're going to walk around, give y'all some great views, commentary from other, other cooks, man, people that's been doing this for years. Like I said, I've been doing this since I was about 14, and uh, I'm like 25. <laughs> no, nah, let me stop. Uh, I'm old, older, I put it like this. So I've been doing, I've been doing this. I know she ain't laughing at me. Anyway, um, I've been doing this about 25 years, so enough said with that. Actually, probably a little longer than that. Anyway, that kind of put some, uh, shed some light on my age, but hair gone. You got gray hair, stuff like that now, so uh, kind of let you know where I stand on age. Anyway, enough of that. Um, a mentor, everybody should have a mentor. Not necessarily a mentor cooking, but professionally, uh, this is my guy right here. Uh, junior, what we call him, man. That's my guy, man. I appreciate all his advice and uh, input he's given me, um, supporting me through all this, and uh, he asked me to go ahead and cook for him for the fight. So, can't tell my mentor no. So, uh, one of my many mentors that uh, kind of steer me in the right path, keep me on the right track, and uh, keep me focused, right? Especially on this this barbecuing thing, because you know sometimes I feel like, man, it's a waste of time. Um, but I cook. Anyway, so it ain't necessarily a waste of time, but sometimes in your mind you feel like, you know, you ain't succeeded at something or it ain't going as fast as you want, then you figure you want to go in a different avenue. But like I said, man, I'm, 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 I'm getting there. Every day I look, my subscribers steadily climbing. Thank you for that. I'm going to still give y'all this awesome content, and we're going to do the damn thing, y'all. So without further ado, I'm going to show y'all a little bit of what we're cooking today. And then we're gonna go from there. Um, like I said, we're gonna do ribs, multiple types of chicken. I think we got some sausage, hot dogs. Um, then we got rib tips, which is, for those of you who don't know, it's basically a spare rib that you cut down to St. Louis and all your extra meat is uh, considered rib tips. You can cut them up and then serve them just like that. People love them just as much as they love ribs. Um, but anyway, we're gonna roll into this video. Hope you enjoy. Wish me luck, y'all. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We back. Barbecue, bar barbecuers, and barbecuettes. Got the grill going. About to open it up. Give y'all a, a, a little sneak peek. Uh, I just put some wood on. Let that smoke to breathe. Woo! Let me show you a little something here. Rib tips. We're going to cut them down. You always stick them in an aluminum pan, for those that don't know. Look at them ribs. <laughs> Yeah, that's three hours straight smoke, no spritzing. With my famous brine, well the squad's famous brine. Uh, we ain't gonna give you that one yet. We ain't gonna give you that one because we want to see how we place in this tournament. We practicing y'all. Floyd Mayweather or uh, uh, McGregor fight going on. Say what's up to Smitty over here. What's going on y'all? You know what I'm saying? Looking like Teddy P. <laughs> yeah, no. You know what I'm Teddy Pendergrass <laughs> over here. Yeah. Anyway, we got, turn, uh, turn the actually let me go back ready. here real quick. I'm gonna show him that. Uh, got hot dogs in here. I will pull it out, but we got sausage in the back. We're practicing, man. Not on the hot dogs and sausage, but we practicing. Um, all color kind of ribs, uh, flavored anyway. Um, we about to go and stack them in here in my pan. Hey, this is our new trick we do. Instead of wrapping them with aluminum foil and wasting our aluminum foil, we put them in the pan now. We're gonna put some uh, apple juice in the bottom of the pan and wrap it twice with our aluminum foil. And then uh, they're gonna get just as tender. And then we're gonna come back and then uh, in about, we do an hour and a half that way. We ain't gonna leave them there two hours. This ain't a three, two, one method. We're gonna leave them uh, in there for an hour and a half and then pull them out, tighten them up again. Hey, to my neighbors. Uh, leave it, leave it over there. But anyway, you know, they know that they see smoke. They want some ribs, so they'll get some. 
But anyway, yeah, we're just gonna stack them in here. Uh, not all of them, just the ones we are uh, sending off to uh, to somebody's house. Shout out to him for uh, uh, supporting the cause for our trip. And then we're gonna go from there, y'all. We'll be back. We got chicken going on next. All right, y'all, we back. Let's see, we got a uh, famous honey. Uh, just some typical store bought. Uh, it's so serious right now. We actually keeping up with the names of what we use instead of just using some generic uh, flavored uh, uh, brand of anything. We writing everything down just to know what we using. Hold on, show them the honey. Oh yeah, there we go. Just a just a great value. Go value. Once again, cheapos. But no, we trying everything, man. Trying to find that 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 pop, that one bite pop, y'all. So these ones we are keeping at the house. We are gonna sample ourselves. Uh, nibble on. Yeah. Very uh. real. Like I said, you got the real tips over there going. They they marinating their own juice. We'll break them out and then chop them down. I ain't gonna lie. They look good. Instead boy. of brown sugar, we use the honey, y'all. So if you've seen people using brown sugar, you can use alter alternatives. Uh, you don't like sugar, use something sugar free. Don't recommend putting sugar on that plain white sugar though. Yeah, uh, no. I don't recommend that though. But stay tuned, y'all. We about to throw some chicken on it, like I said. Uh, look at. I'm gonna show you how tender they get. Bones falling off already in the grill. It's three hours straight smoke, y'all. Gotta know how to use your smoker. Anyway, we'll be back. All right, y'all. We back. And look at all this chicken. We got uh. This time we ain't doing leg quarters. We got wingettes. You can see up here, drumettes, whatever you want to call them. Got some on the rack, some of them not. We got to see how they come out. Boneless, skinless, different flavor profiles. We got legs, we got thighs sitting over here. Obviously the ribs wrapped up in aluminum foil in the pan. We'll show you what they look like when they come out. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go for now. Oh, hold it for a minute, Smitty. Let me show them something. Check this out, y'all. Bam! Your boy got these barbecue smoke-free glasses right here. If you know anything about smoke, you know what these are for. Oh, let me take them off. Let me show you. Look at that. They got little cushions on there to keep the smoke out, y'all. Link will be in the description. In the description. So you can uh, um, see where I got them from. See what they cost. I don't remember what they cost, but I put them in there for you. I got like three or four pair. Put these on right here. I just put some wood on. That smoke kind of heavy coming out. So uh, we're going to rock and roll with that. We're going to go for what we know. We'll close this up. Y'all know the saying. If you're looking, you got it. You ain't cooking. So there we go, we're gonna go ahead and close this up. Uh, we're gonna tie our table. And then uh, we're gonna go for what we know. Put my little glove on, keep myself burning. Close it up. And go from there, y'all. We in business. Should be done in the next three hours with all this. We'll be back, y'all. Look like I'm riding a motorcycle on them. All right, y'all. We go to chicken. Got real tips sitting up here. Smothering in there also. Sauce and a little dust. Got chicken still going up here. Chicken wings. Chicken ribs. I just pulled them out of uh, here. So you can see how tender they are. Uh, let me see if I can multitask and show you how tender they are. Flimsy. You need two pair of tones to, to lift them up. You can see the bone already coming out of them. Um, this is what we do, y'all. Uh, once they're done, we're going to taste them and see what they taste like. But, uh, this is what we're doing for the Floyd, uh, the Roy, uh, the Floyd Mayweather, excuse me, Floyd Mayweather and, uh, McGregor fight tonight, y'all. Uh, practice, practice, practice. Um, like I said, we in the tournament, and we're gonna see what it do, man. Hopefully we get lucky enough to, uh, win some of this, these big prizes, man. Maybe we'll see Big Mo and, uh, uh, all them guys, Tuffy and all of them out there. Trust me, we're gonna have some video for you, some footage of all the different grills and stuff, so. Yeah, stay tuned for that, y'all. We'll be back. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. We just open it up. Still got my real tips in there. Got a little bit of chicken left on the smoker. And we got Look at them ribs. That's what cherry color do to you. That cherry wood, you get you that color right there. That mahogany, deep red, reddish color. That's with no paprika on that. If you put paprika on there, it'll be bright red. So, fun fact for the day, paprika, y'all. Where's that when you want the bright red color? You know who you took it for? Like I said, these are for individuals. Well, it's the four over here for individuals. Three over here sampling. We're just messing around. Different flavors than these. 
Uh, so we're gonna go over what we know. Uh, wish us luck, man. We got two more, well, one more weekend before it's uh, showdown. Uh, September 8th and 9th. If you're in the Orlando area, hit me up, man. I, I, I'll give you the information. Uh, actually, I'll post the website uh, in the description, too, so that y'all can see that. And we'll go from there, y'all. Like I said, wish me luck. Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Playing around. And going to enjoy a good fight tonight. I'll see y'all next week. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos. And holla at your boy. Peace. All right, y'all. There you have it. Another successful cook. Um, I wanted to uh, talk to y'all while I was at my mental house, but uh, I didn't feel comfortable doing that. Yeah, that's my first time actually going to his house. And and now uh, he stays in the boonies. You ever heard of the boonies? That's that's the deep woods. I mean, he got a house that's awesome. But anyway, I ain't gonna talk about him and all that. Um, yeah, I just didn't feel comfortable recording, you know, live. I didn't even ask. You know, I was over there enjoying uh, getting to walk around and stuff like that, seeing the area of the neighborhood, because I'd never been over that way, so. It's great to get the chance to meet with him, hang out with those those folks. And uh, we're gonna see what happens, man. Hopefully, uh, Mayweather win. I know some McGregor fans out there. Uh, I didn't get a chance to gamble when I was in Vegas and buy me a ticket. I would've bought a ticket on each one of them. That would've balanced out. Either way, I would've won, you know what I mean? But we'll see. Um, that's enough of that. Like I said, we're gonna continue to practice. We got one more weekend. I don't know what we're cooking. I got with my man Myron, we on track for the eighth, like I said, so it's a three-man team. Actually, I put it in a group of five, I think five, four or five people. So if somebody else uh, ends up jumping on the team, then you know well, I, we gotta agree with the other, uh, my other two partners, Smitty and uh, Myron. I know y'all hadn't seen him, but you'll see him uh, on the eighth, uh, if not earlier. So like I said, we got one more weekend, Labor Day. Hopefully somebody hit us up so we can cook to get this practice in. Uh, that way it's worthwhile. We're cooking for somebody and we're practicing at the same time, so it's a win-win. But if not, we're going to do the damn thing. Anyway, we're going to fire up the grill, get practice in, verify we got all the stuff, start loading up. So we're already ready to rock and roll. We're going to hit the road early on Friday, get there around 2 o'clock, and set up, man. So we're ready to rock and roll. All USD meat, USDA meat. So wish me luck, and uh, we'll see y'all, man. We'll see y'all next week, uh, Labor Day. See what we got going on. Stay tuned, y'all. This your boy, Mr. B, signing off from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos. Holla, it's your boy.